I've been involved with the shoe burning ever since the original shoe burning happened, which was back in the 70s. Um, a bunch of us went out to a friend's house out in the country, and he brought out a box of shoes. It was a cold night. He didn't want to go out and get firewood, so we just, he said, and he invited us to start pitching shoes into the fire. Then fast forward a couple of decades, when I moved out here to Waterhole Branch, a neighbor of mine said, you know, we ought to we ought to reignite the shoe burning tradition. And it turned into, you bring your shoes, you tell a story about the shoes, where, where the shoes have taken you, or you know, what they've seen you through, and you pitch it in the fire as sort of a release and a sort of uh, spirit cleansing ritual, so. There's nothing like it. It was just, you know, people are sitting around a fire telling stories, you know, throwing the shoes in and, you know, singing songs, telling, you know, very personal things about themselves and just always to me you know I love hearing you know, everyone's honest and sad stories and makes makes you feel less alone with your you know sad story that you have. The story of how it happened and and the story of how we turned it into into this thing this package um, is, a, is a story all by itself. I think most Anyone's going to find something they like about it. If not the idea, then a particular song or a particular story. It's a warm enough thing that, that you, you want to pass on, that you want to share, um, because that comes out in it too. That we're, you know, the whole idea of shoe burning and telling stories is all about sharing. I know writers and musicians and songwriters and singers have gotten together for things before, but as far as there being an anthology of stories and you know an accompanying CD with songs to go with it and it all have a unifying theme. The whole concept of bringing writers and, and songwriters and singers and storytellers, you know, artists of different stripes together for a project like this, I don't think it's ever been done. I mean, it's going to be a beautiful thing to have. This collection of stories and songs celebrates southern characters southern life but at the same time that's too narrow any story or song that looks deep enough into human nature transcends its time and place so this is a collection of stories and music that i think would speak to anyone anywhere i i, I really think it's an interesting concept when i started thinking about what i was going to contribute to it i started thinking about wow the the shoes that we wear you know the places that we go some of them are places that you don't want to go, but you've been there anyway. You can't never really erase footprints. I mean, it's, it's wherever we go is a part of us. All my life, the only wallets that I've ever owned, my daddy gave me. And he, he would keep giving them to me every Christmas, but I wouldn't wear them out in the year, and I'd stick them back. And, and he's gone now. And um, so I have worn through a wallet, and I was looking for a new wallet to, to use. And there in the back of... Um, the drawer underneath it was wrapped up in a in a t-shirt um, was was the baby shoe and as soon as I saw the baby shoe I had been asked to be a part of the shoe burn as soon as I saw the baby shoe I was like oh <laughs> there's the shoe to burn right there there's the shoe to tell the story that shoe's got a story in it. and I think it's wonderful to bring uh songwriters, musicians, and writers together because we have so much in common and uh, this, we should do more of this. Uh, I think people will love it. Anybody who reads this book or listens to the music finds something in it that relates back to them because of the diversity of people and the diversity of stories where they can read it and say that's exactly the way I felt and maybe by doing that they realize they're not by themselves out there. People are going to love this. <laughs> I've, I, have, I have had the uh, joy of knowing a lot of these authors already, uh, and the ones I haven't, I've read. And um, it's eclectic, an eclectic collection. And besides that, there are so many personalities, and uh, of course, it's all about the South, which, you know, it's my heart. This collection is what people are going to want other people to see on their shelf. It's what they're gonna to will to their children. It's what they're gonna want people to realize that they read and knew about when they die. So um, 
you know, I, I think William Faulkner would have had it on his shelf. Um, I'm pretty sure that um, Flannery O'Connor would have had a copy. I'm pretty sure Willie Shakespeare would have enjoyed it. So I'm sure everybody's going to want to join those ranks. Producing the anthology CD for the Shoe Burning Project has been, it's, it's my favorite project that I've worked on to date. This is a body of work by some of the most profound music and word artists in the Southeast. And it is all true stories, even the fiction. And you're going to find yourself in this project. So you need to make it part of your life. We're asking people to join us in the, what we hope is the biggest launch of an anthology that's ever happened. The, the, uh, the, the most books sold, the most people uh, reached by these stories and songs, the most people touched by these stories and songs. When someone decides they're going to purchase this anthology, what they're doing is they're supporting art. They're supporting literature. And I can't think of much that's more noble than that. So oh.